Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome back to the Grantham Pub Underground. It's the middle of winter. It's cold out. You're probably thinking we're going to have something really nice and toasty warm to drink, but you'd be wrong. Today we're going to do a little tasting with Tom, according to the old Jess sign. And what we're going to taste is this right here. 12 Fives Rebel Hard Tea. Now 12 Five, they started out as a coffee they make hard coffee uh i'm not a, i'm not a big coffee drinker so i honestly can't tell you if their hard coffee is any good but i am a hard tea drinker and back in the summer of 2021 they they started with their hard tea and this is an eight pack that i just found at a local store wasn't looking for it looked in the case saw it looked interesting to me and so we're going to give it a whirl, see, see, see how it is. And in this pack, they have four different things, as you can imagine. They have regular, you see that? Regular sweet tea. They have hard half and half, another good flavor. Peach tea, can't go wrong with peach tea. And raspberry tea. Now, about this. First thing I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a little ding on. It's not a big thing, but it's you know I don't know. Maybe it's just me. These are 11 ounce cans. What is the world coming to? We used to have 12 ounce cans. Now we have 11 ounce cans. 11.5 ounce can. We used to have a half gallon of ice cream. Now we have a quart and a half of ice cream. Everything's getting smaller, and I don't know why. Is it just the way marketing's going? Less for the same money? I don't know. But if that's, I mean, I'm used to get 12-ounce cans of my beverages. So, Rebel, make a 12-ounce can. That's just, I mean, if that's the worst thing that happens with these drinks, then fine. Um, what else? A little bit, they're all... 100 calories. They're all 5% alcohol. And it says right here, malt beverage with black tea, natural flavors, which is good, sweetened with sucralose. That I'm not too sure about. We will see. And they all are, like I said, 100, excuse me, for one second. Don't get old. They all are, like I said, 100 calories. No protein, no fat, and they all are six carbs except for the half and half, which is seven carbs. And I'm assuming that's all from sugar. Or is it tea? I don't know. That's the only nutrition they give you. And this is from the 12.5 Beverage Company in Nina, Wisconsin. They have a website, realhearttea.com. No, I'm sorry, rebelhardtea.com. What would be real hard tea? Rebelhardtea.com. They also have a Facebook and an Instagram. And I think they have a TikTok too, but you can find that all on their website. So we're going to give these a whirl to see what we think of them. I'll put that right there so you know what we're talking about. And first, I think we're going to just have to try the plain tea. Now, you know I like tea. We've tried a lot of tea here. We've tried Hard Arnold. We've tried Twisted. We've tried, um, we've tried, um, what else have we tried? Tea whiskeys, or not whiskeys, tea vodkas, tea drinks. Um, we have tried, what's the other one? Howie's. Howie's is a big one here at the underground. But we'll see how this matches up. And if this is really good, we might have to we might have to one day go up against our reigning champion, Howie's. So first thing right off the bat, looks like tea. It's real it's dark like tea, but it's clear it's actually it's pretty clear. You give it the old uh, sniffer test. It smells, yeah, it smells like tea. It says natural tea, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right off the bat. 
it smells more like the tea we would get as a kid, iced tea, the, the powder that came in the can that you would just mix with water. That's what it smells like. I'm not going to, I'm not going to di- discount that just because of the smell, but let's give it a little test. And it's not carbonated. You can tell this is not carbonated at all. You get that, you definitely, on the back side, you get the, the, uh, the sweetener flavor. It kind of tastes like the powdered iced tea. I hate to say it but it kind of tastes like the powdered canister iced tea. I don't know about that one. So that's the plain. Let's try... Should we try the half and half or should we try a fruit? I'm going to try the fruit. Peach. Malt beverage with black tea, natural flavor, sweetener, sweetened with sucralose. Looks exactly the same. Smells very peachy. I'll give them that. I don't really smell tea. I just smell peach. So, cheers. It's hard because I'm doing this out without my TWT partners. Jess from the Jess sign and at Frankie James are not here to help me. So kind of doing this. I like this one better. But it would be hard not to, I think. It tastes, it definitely tastes peachy. It kind of, it kind of tastes like Snapple. I'll be honest with you. It kind of tastes like Snapple. I wasn't going to try them all, but at this point, you know. This is the half and half. Yeah, these doesn't taste like half and half. It just tastes like it doesn't really taste much different than the regular tea. Yeah, I guess it does. It's weird because if you compare the if you compare the half and half to the tea, you can tell this is cloudier, I guess, from the lemon, whatever lemon they put in there. Yeah, that was weird. And finally, the raspberry. No, I have to say, I wish I had brought down some water with me, but I didn't. One more. Smell the raspberry. Let's see. It's got a weird. It's got it's got a weird. It's got a weird uh, 
aftertaste. So, what do I think of these teas? Now, I'll tell you right now, if I was just going to drink one on a glass of ice, I would say it would probably be this one, the peach. The peach, I think, is the best of them all. But, honestly, in comparison to all the other iced teas we've tried here, I, I, I hate to say it, but for, I think for the first time in history, at Tasting with Tom, I would not tell you to go out and buy this. Now, they may be very good. They're, I mean, they're, they're, they're bread and butter is hard coffee. Like I said, I had never tried their hard coffee because I'm not a coffee drinker. Maybe it's very good. If, it, if you've had it, please, by all means, it, let me know. Write down in the comments. Tell me if their hard coffee is good. Or if you've had this tea and you think it's good. I, I, you know what? I think it might be a swing and a miss for the old 12.5's uh, Rebel. Not to say they're not a good company, but for me, I think I would stick to my other teas that we try here. So, I guess in the end, is, is, it's not terrible. I'm not going to tell you this is terrible. If somebody was serving this at a party, would I drink it? Yes. Would I go out of my way to get it? No. Would I order it in a in a pub? Probably not. I, look, that's the thing. I would not ask for it or seek it out. But if somebody served it to me, I would happily drink it. That's about the best recommendation that I could give you. And then, I mean, I don't know. It depends on the market too. This eight pack was like sixteen bucks. So. For what you for what you get, I think it was a little pricey, to be honest with you. But that's just that, I mean that could just be from vendor to vendor, shop to shop. So I, I don't blame I don't blame the company on that. But that's it. That's that's tasting with Tom today. Rebel twelve fives Rebel Hard Tea Variety Pack. Sweet tea, peach, raspberry, half and half. It's a disheartening disappointment. Not just not disheartening. It's disappointing, but because I like iced tea. But there you have it, guys. I hope I hope you enjoyed this little review. I mean, I hope you just enjoy coming and hanging out with us. What, regardless of what we do, whether it's tasting with Tom reviews, our shot shorts, which are a lot of fun, cocktails, hanging out with uh, Frankie James, Jess, Lisa, we all have a good time. So I hope you have a good time when you come. But if it's your first time here. Guys, you got to subscribe. You're missing out on everything we do here. Subscribe to the Grantham Pub Underground. Make sure you hit the bell. So when a new Tasting with Tom or... Do they notify you on short shots? I don't even know. But whenever anything new comes on, you can check it out and see what we're up to down here. Down in the underground of the Grantham Manor at our pub. Did I ever tell you the Grantham Manor story? I'll have to do that sometime. But... And also, if you feel like it, you know, although I tell you it's never necessary, you can always leave us a tip. You can follow us on our socials. Uh, we have Twitter. We have Instagram. YouTube. No Facebook. I mean, it's hard enough to keep up with all that stuff. But I digress. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate seeing you. Always have a good time when you're here. When I'm here, we're drinking cocktails having drinks, enjoying life. But when you are enjoying life, make sure you enjoy it responsibly so you can come back again and again and have a good time here with us. So until I see you next time, right here at the Grand Pub Underground, I'll save a seat at the bar for you. Cheers.